So uh, this is a quick breakdown of uh, three additional, three additional ways of doing an arm trap and roll. We already covered the fundamentals in another video. So in this detail, I'm just gonna show you three different grips uh, in addition to the basic grip for the arm trap and roll. Option one, we already know the Hollywood choke, right? That's the basic one to learn mechanics. But a lot of times the guy puts his arms here and uh, they're not too wide, but again, they're kind of hard to get here. So one thing we can do to trap it is move my head to the outside and now I can bring that arm in because I brought it closer to my center line, right? If I'm over here trying to reach the arm, it's hard. I move my head and then I can trap that arm and start locking it in here tight. So again, whatever side I want to go to, I can just move myself a little closer to it and start to lock that arm in and then I can do the same type of roll. Even if he escapes, Let's say he yanks, let's say as I go there and I try to roll, he yanks it out. It still gives me space to shrimp or do another escape. So just the action of threatening the roll will often do it. That one's a little loose. Now, another option, sometimes a big guy, old self-defense, pins my wrists. And I cannot lift my wrists, actually, and I can't right now. But one thing I still can do is pick a side and trap, nice and smooth so he doesn't expect it. And then I'm gonna look slide. Again, if he lets go, I can shrimp out. If he, if he hangs onto my wrist, like this big strong person just hangs on, the whole time he's gonna roll, and I still have my wrist, but I'm on top. If he lets go, like naturally a jiu-jitsu guy will let go, when he lets go, I can switch back and shrimp out, back into our other attacks. Last one is the head control, which you do not want someone to control your head. If Nate gets the shoulder control, yeah, this sucks, he's gonna make my life horrible right now. So, I don't want that, but let's say it's about to happen, what can I do? Okay. The details there. I'm gonna tuck my chin real quick, coach. I'm gonna tuck my chin and bridge. See all the space behind my neck here? I don't want that gap. I wanna go here and bridge. I lock his arm before it gets too deep. So again, I trap, you see? My hand backs it up here. My other hand on the other side is gonna go like a palm strike to his hip bone and I trap. So right now, this arm, try to yank this arm out. He can't, and I can take him over for the reversal. So is there three extra options for the arm trap roll? Uh, a few people were asking about that. And there's no end-all, be-all technique, but it's a few more options for you guys to escape them out. Thanks.